Well, morning everybody. Enough the vlog. Oh, there's a cloud. Awesome. I can see now. Oh, I just got off work about an hour ago, but I'm finally like conscious enough to vlog. And Critley's getting off work in a minute. Coming over here to Hastings to pick me up and we're gonna go back to the house. She's got some big plans today. Hopefully she'll get to vlog it. Um, one of her close friends is a photographer. That's the title. Yeah, she's actually like a professional photographer with a business and things like that. Her name's Sarah. But one of her workers, a videographer, bailed on her. It just so happens Critley's pretty good at doing videos, of course, with vlogging and everything else like that. So she's asked Critley to come along over to Lexington to um, take video while Sarah does a photo shoot there. And it's going to be at this castle that's up there in Lexington. We've driven by it a couple of times. We've always wanted to go in it and see it and everything, but this is Critley's chance to actually go and see it. And hopefully she gets some good footage and we get to use it in the vlogs. It'll be fantastic. I got some good news at work today. I got asked if I wanted to have a promotion. I was asked if I wanted it. What do you think I said? I said yes. I get a pay raise. I mean, yeah, there's some added responsibilities, but I already get an immediate pay raise just for agreeing to do it. And in um, two and a half more months, I get my first um, increase in pay. Well, my second increase in pay, technically, but my first actual like pay raise. They do it in intervals every three months um, for the first year or something like that. So I'll get another pay raise. What I find fantastic about this, I've only been working at PetSmart for two weeks. I'm already getting promoted. And they told me if I do really well, I'll get promoted again. So I'm good with that. Can you tell I'm tired? It's like I've already downed a coffee and had a banana nut muffin because I was just that hungry and thirsty when I got off of work. I couldn't help it. So I succumbed and spent six bucks on it. Gotta give Critley something too, so I got her some coffee, some iced coffee that I know she'll love. I don't think she's had it before. It's called Cold Brew Hazelnut. Man, I took a sip of it just to try it. It's strong. That's what I probably should have ordered for myself when I got off of work this morning. Well guys, I'm at a trail now. <laughs> well, Jordan and I decided that we're heading over to the Pinnacles. Critley, like I told you, she's up in Lexington with Sarah doing a photo shoot at the Lexington Castle. Formal name is, I have no idea what it is. Critley will tell me later. And I wasn't gonna stay at the house and be bored, so I called up Jordan and we're going hiking. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I'm doing stupid stuff. We're gonna try to get Scott over his fear of heights again. He doesn't know that till now. Maybe I'm getting better about the heights anyway. Who doesn't understand that I'm gonna tie a rope to a tree and, and, and a rope to him and then just push it. That's a good way to get over here. I mean, it's a, it's a stable tree. It'll be a good rope. Oh, I just have to find one laying around. Because like, I didn't bring it. I didn't think about this until just now. Yeah. You know what? I may just have to push him off the cliff. Hey. Why not? As long <laughs> as you got the vlog camera going. Exactly. As long as I get a film and you put it up on the internet, I don't care. <laughs> See, he'll die for you all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jordan and I are still on the trail. We're coming up to our first sign. Oh, we're both out of shape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they've been doing some new work on this part of the trail. It's got a lot of gravel on it now. They've been digging at it. Oh, this is highly unfortunate. Yep, no bench. But no, there's an actual trail right here, guys. Yep, not the gravel stuff that Jordan doesn't like. This is like the best day ever. <laughs> so we're going to the West Pinnacle, of course. So we'll see you all there. Well guys, Jordan is ecstatic. That guys would be a northern copperhead that we found out here at the Pinnacles. And uh, what you see in there underneath the log is a copperhead. Man. That's gonna be interesting getting out. I'm way too happy about this. I am so happy. This is our second copperhead here. Yeah, it's our second copperhead at the Pinnacles. Oh, 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 oh. He's starting to move. He's starting to move. 
Oh, come on, give me a... There he is. Uh, 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 oh, he's uh, striked. Uh, uh, uh. And he's going up the tree. Jordan is trying to figure out how to get to the snake. I'm up above the tree. Just taking a look around at it. I haven't seen him. He decides to come this way, at least I can tell Jordan. Alright. Because <laughs> he's a baby. He's not gonna... This thing's rotted out, so... I can dig enough to at least maybe scare him out. Yep. He went up into it. Yeah, he's up in there. He is up in there. But we can get him. We can get him. Watch out for you and make sure he doesn't come out on the other side. Yeah, I know it. Thing I've done in a long ass time. Yeah, going after a copperhead by digging in a tree. Well, there's some cultures that go digging for daggone cobras, so why not? I need a light. There's also a flashlight in the backpack. Cool. It's in the main pocket, it's a big old mag light. He's in the tree, obviously, but he didn't come out over here. If we can't get to him, that's okay. We got some decent footage. We did. I'm happy with it. Yeah, he'll be all right. We may see another anyway. Yep. Well, guys, we've hit our next sign. We don't have too much further to go. Nope. But now we got to go up. Okay, guys. <laughs> I, I couldn't help but laugh. Look at this. Looks like someone attempted to build a lean-to right here at this overhang. Hold up. Even out. Hey guys, we're getting closer to the top of the western pinnacle. The trail gets really rocky, lots of bluffs, lots of stuff to check for snakes and lizards. So it'll be a lot of fun. Well, I'm at the top of the point where our two trails meet. But Jordan's out checking underneath a bunch of the bluffs over there. Hello. Yeah, there's Jordan. <laughs> I don't know if y'all could see him, but oh well, that's fine. Y'all remember the last time we went down, went up the western pinnacle, I climbed up this at one point. Or I think that was part of the blog. I did. It's a nice little slide. <laughs> Hello, good sir. Hello. <laughs> last time we were here, Critley and I got a nice picture where it looked like we were holding up the rock. Really? Yeah, you know how some people like to pretend they're holding up the leaning tower? Yeah. That's a nice leaning rock to make it look like you're holding it up. <laughs> Wait, you should see if you can get an angle. It looks like you're rock climbing. Yeah, that ain't bad. <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm like hanging off the edge of like one of the lookouts. Kind of. Being down here looks like you're up high, that's for sure. <laughs> yep. Fuck, my ankles. Shit. <laughs> Some of the random things we do in life, people. Jordan hurt himself while pretending he's rock climbing. Yep, Jordan's excited. It's We've made it to the Butterfly. western pinnacle. Butterfly. That's it. Critley and I have been here actually closer to sunset last time we were here. But Jordan wants to attempt climbing to the very top of this rock that is the western pinnacle. All right, let's go see what he's doing. That's awesome. Well, Jordan's happy with the view. There is some trees in the way, but we are decently high up. That's going to be interesting. Yep. Yep. <coughs> Here's a really old carving. Blanco 1918. There's a lot of old carvings, as Jordan just said on his end of the vlog on these rocks <laughs> but we're like a quarter of the way up just being on top of this one stone we're gonna try to get halfway up and then try to get all the way up we'll see jordan rock climbing <laughs> jordan's starting to panic uh-oh oh, is he gonna fall possibly i may have to move because uh, he's gonna fall broke my camera more <laughs> well that's not good jordan 
He broke his camera more. I did People. It. There's Jordan. He made it onto the first shelf of the bigger rock. Yeah, He's not going to climb up the small one and then go over there. I may climb up the small one and do the step over. Uh, it's more like a leap. Yeah, not it is. So more step. It's a leap. It's a leap. It's a leap. All right. I don't know. We'll see. I'm in a dilemma myself. <laughs> I'll climb up I did not think this through. Yeah. Well, uh, you hadn't seen the whole rock yet. Nope. But we'll climb to the smaller one and see where Jordan is. Scott, stop vlogging and get up here. I'm coming. I've done my part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's Jordan. I'm on top of the smaller rock of Western Pinnacle. And that's the view from right here. It's not bad. I like it up here. You can see more. We're almost above the trees. And this is the step I was talking about. That's a little bit of a drop. You screw up. You screw up bad. Oh, you hand over to me when you said that. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> well, you didn't step. You ended up just going right there. All right, so this is really the only way up this damn thing, isn't it? Uh, yes, that's yeah. the, probably the easiest way. It's not, it's not. That's the runoff it's, point where it's not easy, you know. No, it's not. But if you come over here on this side, all you've got is a roof over your head the entire time. Really? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you don't have a good point of getting onto it over here. There's Jordan. He's taking a step right now to see the other side. Oh, God, that's sketchy as hell. Nope. Yeah. He's trying to figure out how to get up there. This is the reason why I'm vlogging from this angle. <laughs> so I can observe. Yeah, this is... Somebody actually attempted to do their name here in glitter. Probably with finger nail polish. Girl or, you know, one of those gay guys. Well, I'm assuming it was a girl. It's pink and glitter. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Let's hope Jordan doesn't fall. I was just trying to figure out where the hell to put my camera so it doesn't get crushed. Oh, well, yeah. Quite honestly, put it on the shelf above you. It'd probably be better. Yeah. There you go. You're good. He's put his camera right there, people, so hopefully it survives. Now let's hope he survives. Everybody cross their fingers. And don't hyperventilate now. Pulling out his phone. It's like, shut up, phone. <laughs> well, this hurts. And I would say so. Why are you Ooh. attempting to vlog right there? Because <laughs> it's me, and I don't think things through before I do them. If I had, I would not be in this situation right <laughs> no now. No joke. <laughs> My knee is the only thing that's really keeping me up right now. Yeah. So, that's a pretty far drop. Yeah, it's a good-sized drop. It'd be a painful one. Yes. Right. I think we've definitely verified. If Jordan fell down there... From where he is right now, he probably would break a limb. Probably. He's attempting to vlog his climb. Luckily, I have our camera going. Now you talk and, about and one head. It is. You need to somehow angle your butt boot more vertical. There you go. You got it. Don't panic now. I'm not. Yeah. He's up. Ha -ha. I did it. Oh my god. So, sir. <laughs> yeah. Get that look. Here. That look to try to make me come over yeah, there. Yeah, come on. I don't want to disappoint the internet. I mean, it's only a decent drop. <laughs> yeah. It's Maybe. only it's only a decent drop. It's at least 20 foot. Wouldn't kill you. No, but it hurt as hell, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, it would. This is awesome. It is a good view, I will say that. You haven't seen it from over here. No, you're right. I haven't seen it from over there yet. Oh my. This may be the reason why it's the better view, is if you can get up there. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> the problem is, is getting back down, too. 
<laughs> he's starting to think about that. And I was like, I can almost see myself climbing up the same way you did. But man, is that sketchy gun back down. I just realized there's a little carving right there. That is Mexico. Well guys, I wasn't actually expecting my nerves to be okay, but I'm actually on the top with Jordan here. Hello. <laughs> and it's actually a really nice view. I'm gonna flip the camera over so y'all can see. Hello. This is the top of the Western Pinnacle, the true top. Yep. And I gotta say, after seeing both views, this is the better view just up here, haven't they? Yeah. Well, carvings and everything else. Look at Jordan. Dang idiot. He has to feel the thrill, doesn't he? That's a long way down. Not as long as like the others. When we go over to the East Pinnacle, that's the... Uh, that's a longer fall. <laughs> <laughs> that's all his nerves are going to handle. Yeah, My nerves are pretty good where I am. And the fact that I climbed up here is good enough for me. So, <laughs> I'm happy. Jordan's excited. He noticed a lizard while he's trying to climb down. <laughs> Jordan so just had a, a near call. Black racer that was right here. I go down here to reach for him. You guys see it? There's a copperhead right there. Oh my goodness. He almost grabbed the I copperhead. almost grabbed the copperhead instead. He that almost tagged me. I see the head. Oh my Finally god. Finally got footage on it. Holy crap. Wow. That is a good spot for that snake. Yeah, I went to go get grab the damn black racer that's I mean that black racer was fucking huge. I should have just dropped my drink and went and grabbed him, but well, you found the copperhead too. To this one. But this is our second copperhead today. And our first black racer, which we didn't get the black racer on film, but that's okay. We may so. get in a bit. It's moving. The head moved. Jordan's first attempt getting this one. <laughs> Shit. We switched positions so that he can try to have better access to it. I need your flashlight. All right. Without getting bit. <sighs> got two cameras going on at the same time. And I got two snakes right here. Non-venomous and one that could really put me in a world of hurt. Man, he's got a good strike range. Jordan with very good size black racer. Very good size. And I'm going to move just enough to where I don't have to worry about copperhead coming to, to my feet. Hey, buddy. Hey. I see you. You almost got away. That's yeah. why they call these guys black racers, because they're so... Brickin' fast. <clears throat> In every aspect of the word. Now, he's not venomous, but he does have a good bite on him. I really don't feel like bleeding today. Mm. I don't like where you're going with this, dude. I don't. This is the biggest black racer I've ever caught in my entire life. Along with a copperhead. In the den. That, that's in that den site. Now that's not really uncommon. They den together all the time, so. Mm, I don't know, you're, mm -mm. Now I'm not hurting him, because I'm supporting his upper body. <sighs> He's uh, a pretty one. I don't like what you're doing there, buddy. Oh. Man, he's fat. Yeah, he is. He is so large. Is it actually a girl? Mm-mm. That's no, a male. Okay. That's a really big male. Yeah. Yeah, that's a male. That's uh, a huge black racer. First black racer of the year. So yes. There's that. Something's on my neck. Something's on my neck. It's a caterpillar. Watch it now. You got it off. Okay, now these guys eventually do 
tamed down a bit, but I don't see him doing that that much. Oh, whoa, <laughs> he almost tagged you. I don't want to get him over here on this rock area. Go ahead, yeah. kill my camera. Yeah, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you just don't have a lot of footholds. They're a little sketchy. Yeah. You just got to trust yourself and go. I like it though. It's yeah. pretty awesome. be offended if you wanted to. I've not been at this lookout. It looks like pretty it. good. This is a lookout that Jordan and I have found going an old trail that supposedly connects the West Pinnacle to the Indian Fort, supposedly. Wow, barely see it on footage, but yeah, there's the moon. As we finally hit a sign heading down this old trail, apparently it was the main dome trail, but it's not really upkept or anything. Like, nobody walks it from what we can tell. No. But if we keep on walking down over this way or that way, we'll end up hitting the East Pinnacle. So, we've technically hit part of these trails before. Yeah. We'll have some fun. This is just a really beautiful view. We're gotten to a point of the trail where I recognize it, and I've walked this with Critley before. 